Hello guys and welcome back to Vintage Story. My name is Rakuna and today we're going to be starting on the windmill. Now the passage is already set. I got everything that I need to make the windmill on me. I put down this temporary ladder in case I need to make some quick trips back down and up. And uh, this is the old layout. Yeah, but uh, to begin with, uh, let's just drop my container there for a second. Let's just put it over here. And over here, I got everything that I need. Now, I made myself a whole bunch of limestone brick. I'm going to be using it on the outside. Now, I'm going to want to make four blocks high, and I'm going to go chip away at them afterwards. Now, we're going to do this on all four sides. And on the inside, I'm going to put some cobblestone. So we're going to have to start digging up this. Let's go and put that down there. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace all of these uh, dirt blocks with my cobblestone. Hopefully I'll have enough for all that I intend on doing. But let's, uh, you know, let's learn to agree that uh, granite stone is not something that's been hard to come by. So let's slap two over here. There's is gonna be an entrance right here. One, two, three. Let's go and do that like this. And over here, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna want to have some windows. So let's start by hopping on top here and putting those down. And uh, while I'm doing that on all sides, I think I'm going to go start and chip away like I wanted to do. Now I got my hammer and I got a chisel and I made myself some extra just in case. So let's tap that. Yeah, this is how I wanted to do it. One, two, three, four. Yeah, well, let's do that on all four sides. And I think that will look nice. Now, what I plan to do also on the inside is uh, I've gotten myself some windows. And I'm kind of planning to... There you go. On the inside, have two like that. I might put two more the higher I get. Uh, except for up here right now. I'm not going to put one there. But uh, let's just keep on working on this. And we'll see if we're going to change anything as we go along. I'm just kind of going with the feel right now. And there you go. Now we got a lot of room on the inside. I want to have a ladder eventually going up. Now we're going to be continuing with our limestone blocks. Again, we're going to do one, two, three, four. And I think we're going to be doing the same thing. We're going to be uh, scaling in towards the inside. Now, this wind will, we want it to be higher because the higher it goes, uh, the more wind we have chance of getting. So let's do the same thing like I've done with the other ones. And uh, of course, I'm going to have to be careful because uh, I'm going to be taking a lot of fall damage by the sounds of this. But we're going to be filling in the inside over here. Uh, I might chisel away at these so it kind of slants inwards. And over here, I'm going to do the same thing. Now, I am working at this, and I can feel my guy starting to shiver. It's not super temperatures to be doing this. Usually it would be better to do this during summer, but I, I guess I can't be too picky now. Ooh, okay, well, you know what? I think I am just going to go inside. I did the chiseling, uh, but it is time that I go inside, grab myself a little something to eat. I did prepare some meals before we started this. The only thing is... Uh, Right now, working in the cold like this, it is, uh, well, I mean, I mean, you guessed it, right? It's cold. Really cold. So I think I'm going to be lighting up a little fire, at least so I can kind of uh, catch my breath. Let me just put that down here and grab a scoop of it. And we can have ourselves a nice little meal. 
You know what? I think I've been working hard enough. Let's grab another bowl. Ah, that feels much better. Anyways, it is night, and it, I don't think it's going to get any warmer. Even though I have a full fur set uh, on me, I think it's going to be better off if I slept through the night and get back to work in the morning. So, yeah, good night. Uh, rise and shine. Well, before we get started on our day, what the? Oh. Well, I guess the sun hasn't risen yet, and uh, it is now minus 19 outside. Uh, not really an ideal temperature to go working, but, uh, you know, we gotta get this windmill done. So first of all, let's put this uh, cooking pot away, and we'll get started. Now, first of all, the reason why I want a windmill so bad is because I got about 80 iron bloom that I need to hammer out. And for that, we're going to need the health hammer. No way I'm doing that by hand. And all this meteoric iron that I got, I can't do anything about that yet. To be able to mold it into tools, I need an iron anvil. And for that, I need to make all of my iron bars. Well, it is still night. Uh, I believe that it's almost over, but I we might as well get ourselves a uh, head start. So let's hop on in here. And um, I think I might just, uh, you know what, I don't think there's any way that I can leave my light. Maybe I can put it up here and that should help light things up a little bit. So let's get back to it. Now again, I want to put two more windows over on each uh, sides. Like that. And we can just put another block above it. Now, to be able to climb back up there, I think I'm going to have to put some uh, some ladders. There you go. Right on top. And uh, I just better not fall. So let's go back and do the same thing. We're going to go inwards a little bit. Now, you might have noticed that this is a different colored stone. I want to put a little bit of that Suivite stone. Now, we're going to be going up with uh, the sides. We're not going to be chiseling uh, with uh, these... Uh, limestone bricks. I feel like the fall damage is going to be a little higher this time. Alright, now that the limestone parts have been put in, let's go grab some more granite. There is never a lack for granite. <laughs> I always have tons of it. Well, let's grab two more stacks of 64 and let's get back to work. And I think at this point I'm going to be good to uh, start putting a ladder going up from the middle. Uh, yeah, just gotta make sure that all of this is uh, removed. And we'll start setting that down. Now, as we're gonna go up, this is pretty much how we're gonna end this. We're gonna end with a 3x3 three three opening, which is uh, pretty much the size of one of the big gears that we'll need. So let's fill it up all the way to the top. And then we can start thinking about getting our gear done. Now, I was thinking having more windows over here because it would look nice windows all around uh, the only thing is I'm gonna be running out of window if I do this but eventually I'll be able to get some more or if I find myself some lead I could actually make my own windows okay so this is pretty much where the windmill is gonna be set out I'm gonna make sure that it's set out all the way on the outside here maybe I'll put myself some little uh, wooden structure here in which the axle can go on i might chisel something out but for now i'm just going to be uh putting a ladder to go all the way down and there you go that is all done now we got our ladder over here but i don't want to keep the rope ladder for this i got myself some normal wooden ladder that i wanted to use for this purpose uh, that looks like it might be a little too high y you know what we'll, we'll work with that well, let's pick up those uh, rope ladders and let's go back down. Yeah, I really went overboard with this. Now let's check out from over here, see what it looks like. You know what? It looks okay. Of course, it's going to require a little bit of chiseling work. But yeah, I've got some ideas for that. So what I want to be doing right now is I'm going to be taking one of these uh, pine planks. And I'm just going to be setting it up over here so I can work with it. So let's put this in our other hand. Let's take the chisel. 
And let's start removing some chunks. Now, I want to add this D-bar large uh, because I really don't know what to do with it. So I might as well be using it here. So let's add a little bit of a uh, large in here. I really don't like what it looks like on the bottom there, but uh, you know what? We're going to be extremely high. We're, we're not going to see that, right? I'm going to remove that top part over here and fill that in as well. Then we can just copy it using the workbench. All right. Let's grab that. We'll be able to put that up there. Now, for some reason, the extended workbench is not currently functioning. What the hell is going on? Let me take it out and put it back in. There you go. For some reason, something wasn't working there and uh, it works now. So let's put all of the components inside. We need a chisel and a hammer and let's get to work. We're going to need a grand total of three others of these. Wait a second. Why am I going for a fourth one? I needed three others, four total, and I'm going to need my wrench. Now, what we want now are going to be wooden axles. Yeah, I got plenty of uh, logs over here. Got a lot of maple logs that I could use for that. And with wooden axles, it's simple. You just need some logs, some fat, a chisel, and a hammer. And I did manage to get myself quite a bit of fat. And there we go. Now, we're going to make a, a few of them. I know I'm going to need quite a bit. And we're going to need a little bit of windmill rotors. Four to be exact. So let's grab our fat. Let's grab our resin. And it's going to be pretty much the same thing chisel and hammer one two three four the other thing we're gonna need are large gear sections we're gonna need a grand total of four and luckily i do have enough sticks for that and to make these large gears we're gonna need also a saw so let's place everything in formation one i guess that our saw is uh <laughs> no longer has enough durability we're gonna have to go and switch that i'll come back for you and there you go let's grab our three other pieces and to make the large wooden gear we still need some more planks and an axle in the middle and there we go we finally got our large wooden gear here i am juggling with all my inventory this is crazy so let's go ahead and set everything up i want to grab you back <laughs> eventually <laughs> now that lantern is serving a purpose at least so let's not bug it too much so let's start putting our axles and honestly I think I should have put this first yeah, let's rotate it there you go I'll put all of these for every side and flip them around and let's slap our axles in there ow that is always a risk stop laughing Rick Next, we'll want to put our windmill rotors. There you go. Now, I'm going to set this down. And the rotor will be going down here. And I don't know if I can place the big wheel yet, if everything's going to be connected. I don't think so. Yeah, I'm going to have to put something different here. I wasn't thinking. Anyways, let's remove those and we're going to replace them with the right components as well as the sails. But you know what, I am happy. It's not a gale outside. It's not as cold as it was yesterday. I'm not freezing my butt off. So what we need are angled gears. And for that, we're gonna need the saw again, which I still have in my inventory. Thank God for that. So let's get everything into position and we can make four of them. And I, I don't have any more sticks. I'm gonna have to go out hunting for more sticks now. Yeah, well, well, was to be expected. Because to make the cells, we're, we're going to need a few of them. So, I'm going to go out, collect some sticks, and after that, we can go and proceed and do that. Well, I'd say that was enough sticks. Now, uh, how did I get here again? So let us put away the shears and let's go back downstairs and we'll start making our sails. So we got ourselves 13 linen. I suppose that we can probably make a whole lot more of that. 29? And how much do we need per sail? Four. So let's try and make it so we have 32. There you go. 
that's more manageable. So let's split this like that and let's put our sticks over here. And we got ourselves a whole bunch of sails. The sad part is it's not even nearly enough to feed the all four windmills. So let's start putting them on. Nice. For now, I'm going to focus on two. And there you go. We got two windmills that are kind of turning and floating at the same time, which is a, a little disconcerting, but uh, yeah, we'll ignore that. But now we can at least put the large wheel and the angled gears. I suppose we got to put our wooden axles first, then the angled gear. I, I think that's what's going wrong here. One, two, three, and four. There you go. So this should give us quite enough torque to at least make one hell of a hammer work efficiently. But for now, we're going to be removing this large wooden gear. Now, what I plan to do is to go up maybe a little higher and have another full set of sails. So let's remove this large wooden gear and let's start getting these axles to go all the way down. There you go. And we're going to be digging a hole down here and it's going to go in our little area that we dug out on the last episode. So let's keep building up. So I was building up from where I had built before, but I have another idea. I think I'll be building in even a little bit more. That way I can put the other sails without having to go uh, all that much higher. And what I'll be doing here is I'll be putting uh, some roofing yeah, on all four sides. I think it'll look neat. We did have quite a bit of slate stone that we could use, so let's go ahead and make use of it. So I'll bring myself a stack of 60 slanted slate roofing made with the shale stone that I've got. Well, two blocks like that, one pine plank, and we can have ourselves a little roofing. There you go. And uh, what about that middle part? I haven't thought about that. I guess I still need to make a, a little bit more of the slate roof ridge. At least four pieces to be exact. And there you go. That'll do the trick. Now let's do it on this side. And, and, is that the right side? It isn't, isn't it? I think I might have messed up. I don't know where that piece went. Oh, there it is. Okay. I guess I gotta be on like this for it to work. Or maybe I gotta be a little higher. I think it'll work better if I do it like this instead by removing uh, the limestone block. There you go. Much better. All right, let's fix these up and let's get it done. There you go. And from that, we're going to be building upwards here. Uh, are we high enough? Is this high? Why is there a freaking rift? over there. Damn it. I feel like we're getting pretty darn high. I think to make sure that the uh, windmill does not hit the roofing below, I'm going to go one little shot higher. And here we go. I'm going to have to put the ladder so it goes all the way up here. And here's where we're going to have our other set of sails. I could probably start doing the same thing like we did downstairs. I don't have any wooden planks right now, so I'm just going to put these dirt blocks in here temporarily. Anyways, I still need to, uh, you know, get the, uh, the windmill set up up here. And after that, from here, we'll be able to do our roof. And of course, I am freezing my butt off again. Ugh. So, uh, yeah, I haven't put my ladder down here. Maybe I can kind of put it here and, uh, okay, there you go. Wasn't that bad. Oh, the only thing is I'm going to have to move that ladder after all, right? I'm uh, kind of in the way of this angled gear. So I'm going to move it all throughout the building to go one block uh, a little further. That way I have access to my top part. I have access to my middle part. Let's remove this. And let's go down this ladder and we're going to be placing it one block further away. There goes everything. <laughs> That's a lot faster. There you go. That should do the trick. Now, I don't know how much slate I do have left. 
I have a little bit here, two stacks of 64, in which I'll be able to finish off the roof of that building. But now I'm still freezing my butt off. So I'm gonna take a little break again, try and get my temperature up a little bit before I turn myself into a snow cone. But for now, that's gonna be a very nice looking windmill. I may make the roof go up a little higher. I think it'll look a little better this way. But you know what? I'm gonna have to concentrate next summer on getting myself a whole buttload of flax, meaning uh, planting a whole lot over here and maybe by my other farm by the water. Uh, I wish you'd go away. Yeah, shoot, be gone. Bye-bye. And there's another one through the back door. God darn it, jeez. These guys are really relentless. And the other thing I'm going to need is I'm going to need to go on a little hunting trip. Uh, try and gather myself a little bit more fat. Maybe I could buy myself some. But eventually, I'll have to look at uh, getting some more animals up here. Because uh, getting myself some animals up here has been uh, quite difficult. And I might need to set it up down there. Might be a little distance away from home, but I can make myself a pathway that goes there. Which is going to make things a little faster. Oh! And look at that. <laughs> Resin grows back on this. That is very funny. If I could collect myself a whole bunch of those, that'd be awesome. Although I have my resin farm that is not too far away. But guys, I believe that is all the time that we have for today. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, don't forget to nudge that little like button. And I'll see you next time. So until then, take care and stay safe. Raccoon out.